Hey guys, this is a very quick video just to look at the differential equations and what each letter means and also the boundary conditions and what each letter means. Um, we're just going to be very quickly going through this. If you don't want to know what it is, just go to the next video where I'll be doing the example and um, I'll probably bring it up again there. But just quickly introducing the equations. The differential equation, we have two. We have AE U double dash plus N equals zero. And we also have minus I E V double, sorry, quadruple dash minus M dash plus P equaling zero. So we're going to be using these two equations to be able to find displacements in the X direction and displacements um, for in the Y direction, as well as displacements for rotation. So just quickly, what do all these terms mean from the differential side? So we're going to be looking at, say, a beam. So let's say we have a simply supported beam. Which is subjected to a UDL. So we could have any function of UDL. This is obviously a function of X, the load, but we just call it P. So P equals P of X. Okay, so P is just the, the linear load. That's that term there. N is an axial load or a load along the beam. So like that. So that is N of X, which we just abbreviate to N. So it's a load going along the beam transversely. And the last thing we have from here, we have also M dash. Now M would be a distributed moment. This might be new, but we have say a moment which is distributed along there. And also this is a function of X, but we just abbreviate that to M. Notice so that's M dash though. So you'd have to find the function of the, of the moment and then differentiate it to use this equation. So those that's P, M and N. U double dash is the second derivative of, of U. U is what we're actually going to be finding, which is the hor any horizontal displacement. V is any vertical displacement. And